What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with the 15th episode of the Leicester City Career Mode. And as you can see there, Vardy is red carded uh, for the next game, or suspended for the next game even. Uh, so we are going to start with uh, Clement, actually. Uh, because Okazaki just came back from uh, from injury, he's went down one rating, he's not in great form. Uh, so I'm going to give Clement to go. Um, and I think that's the only change that I'm going to make for for this game. Yeah, it is. Uh, although Vardy needs to go off the bench, so Okazaki's going to come in there. Um, and, yeah. So that's the lineup we're going to go into the next game with. The next game is against... Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but we'll see here in a couple of seconds when EA eventually decides to load the next menu. Alright. We are playing, oh, Tottenham away. Damn. So they're, uh, they're top of the league by four points, seven games into the season right now. Followed by Crystal Palace, actually. That's interesting. They did really well at the start of last season, and it uh, looks like they're doing that this season as well. We'll see how far uh, they can keep it up, though. But yeah, Leicester, uh, T Tottenham have won their last three games. Uh, out of three, but we are 1-0 up, courtesy of David Villa, who's really starting to hit some form. It's his third goal of the season, I think, but it is canceled out by Harry Kane, who's on fire in real life right now. Uh, not sure how he's uh, he's doing in FIFA um, at the moment, but uh, it's still 1-1, heading towards the end of the game. It would be a good result for us if it finished this way, but Kane has scored a late winner. Still not a bad result. I mean, only losing by one goal to probably the eventual champions. Uh, I would say Tottenham have, have probably got this locked down already. I mean, it's still early on in the season, but when you've got a four-point lead after seven games, that's that's a big signal you know, of intent. And uh, Tottenham always do seem to do pretty well in uh, career mode in FIFA, which makes sense because in real life they have a very young, talented squad. So I'm sure a lot of their players have very high potential in FIFA. So, you know, it makes sense to where... You know, it makes sense that they're, uh, that they're, like, they do well after, you know, a season or two. Because a lot of those players will develop a little bit. Uh, and Harry Kane being one of those players. Uh, but, uh, we've got some uh, development there of our own. Galliano and Clement still, uh, doing pretty well in training. Uh, we've got Zenit next. Uh, not sure if it's home or away, but we did, we got Newcastle immediately after that. One day in between those games. So we are going to start, I think, actually, a full reserve team for this one. Uh, which, I'm going to bring out the cup side, but this does have this does need some changing. So, um, Clement is going to go in here. He is in bad form, but it doesn't matter. He's still going to start in there. Uh, Gray is going to start. Um, Chowdhury is going to start. Uh, yeah, Amarty is going to start, too. I'm going to do it that way around. Uh, see, or actually, no. Actually, we're going to start with uh, a different formation. Um, I meant to make this before this game started, but that's what we're going to go with. So, Gray out on the wide, uh, obviously. And then uh, we're going to put uh, the one of our youth players in here. Where is he? Um, can't seem to find him anywhere I'm looking okay yeah he's right there all right so yeah we're gonna put Galliano there uh, for his first start of the season and possibly his debut not sure if he's played before this uh, and then Malcolm's gonna start there Denny Simpson Saar and Benaloon um, yeah they're gonna start there and then Fuchs is gonna start at left back Schmeichel is back from injury didn't even realize that uh, but Marcos is gonna be our reserve keeper so we'll throw him in for now but yeah, Schmeichel uh, definitely going to get back into the, uh, the starting squad. So that's what we're going to go with into this game. I'm not really expecting a great result, but hopefully we can come away with a win. Uh, I think we're probably going to progress from this group regardless. Um, so we sh we should be all right, you know, resting some players here. Because the league is my focus by, uh, by a long shot. Definitely uh, gunning for the league more than anything else. Um, we are at top of the group right now with six points. Zenit, Salzburg, and Rangers below us. It's a pretty weak group, uh, to be honest. Zenit, probably the best, uh, the second best team. 
and we're playing them now. So it'll be a nice test here. If we beat Zena here, we're I'm we'll probably top the group. Might even get uh, you know the full amount of points uh, available, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see how this game goes at first. Got a pretty strong lineup still. You know, there's a couple of lower rated players in there, but overall. You know, I think we've got the quality to beat uh, Zenit at home. They do probably have a slightly better team than us on paper, but hopefully that home field advantage can bring home the win. Uh, Malcolm has scored just before halftime to make it 1-0, and uh, that could be the only goal of the game. We're uh, we're nearing the 70th minute now, still 1-0. Wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad result. Definitely would be. Uh, yeah, uh, you know that's a great result there. 1-0 uh, against Zenit is how it finishes, and I will take that any day of the week, starting with a full team of, uh, of second-choice players and coming away with a 1-0 win there is very nice. And those those 11 players are going to play again shortly after this game because we got a cup game after this league game that came immediately after uh, that game. So we're going to go into the youth uh, this youth scout report here, though, and I'm just going to reject... All these guys still don't have any decent players. Oh, not a single decent player in that scout reports. Uh, whatever, though. Not too concerned about youth. Um, I mean, we've got a couple of decent players. But yeah, uh, this is the lineup that we're going to go into the next game with. And uh, Villa is going to stay in there, but Vardy is going to come back into the lineup. And then uh, Schmeichel is going to get his first start back from injury. Going to start with that same back line and midfield. Lamar is up one rating to 83, and he has been incredible this season. Him and Mares have just been devastating on the wings. Um, both of them in great form right now. And, you know, both of them have bad a few goals so far. Hopefully they can both score in this game. Would be nice. Uh, it's probably like... I would say in the games that they both started, we probably scored in like probably all but like one or two of them, because usually one of the two scores, uh, and sometimes both of them. But uh, a you know pr a fairly easy game on paper against Newcastle at home, um, and Vardy has scored 14 minutes into the game. Hopefully we can get like a three or four and a win here. That would be amazing. Newcastle obviously recently promoted. They don't have the worst side in the world, but uh, yeah, we have made it two 0 there, courtesy of Lamar. Um, and, uh, still no more goals so far. 80th minute. Can we grab another one? No, we cannot. But, uh, a decent result there. 2-0 no win. I will take that. Um, Chelsea drawing with Everton at home. Interesting, uh, result there. Not sure where they are. At. They're at the table now. But it's, it's probably gonna be pretty tight, I would say, the, uh, the league this season. But, uh, we've got a cup fixture next. Not even sure which cup it is. Didn't pay attention to what the last cup game was, because there's obviously the uh, the FA Cup and then the Capital One Cup. Um, or uh, is it called the EFL Cup now? It might be. I don't know. Uh, that confused me last season. Um, but it is the EFL Cup. I think that's the Capital One Cup. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start with this, uh, this cup team again, because we do have Manchester United in a couple of days. This side performed pretty well. Galliano in his debut, uh, you know, performed okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that was his debut. I think that it was. Okay, so it wasn't his debut. He did play one more game before that. Yeah, he played in the cup game before that match, but uh, he did get uh, a 7.7 .7 rating in the, that match a couple of days ago. He went up seven ratings so far this season, so very decent stuff there. Uh, hopefully, he can continue to progress. And uh, Clement, I don't think. I mean, yeah, he hasn't got a goal for us this season. Hopefully he can break that streak now. Um, a pretty weak team from us, but we're playing Huddersfield at home. I'm fully expecting a win. Fuchs with a goal eight minutes in, hit his first of the season. He scored a, a decent amount of goals last season from that left-back position. Um, and he's added one to his uh, overall tally in this game so far. No more goals yet, though, which is kind of surprising. Again, it would be nice for Clement to get on the score sheet to get his first goal for the club. Fuchs with a second goal, this time from the penalty mark. Not sure why he took it over David Villa, but he did put it away. And that is the uh, the final result, 2-0. Um, decent result. Again, not uh, same same thing as against Newcastle. Not an amazing result because it is they are a weaker team. But, uh, I mean, still a good result. You know, a win's a win. 
Now we've got Manchester United in the league. Tough game. Whether whether it's home or not, uh, it is a way, so it's going to be even tougher. But uh, hopefully we can come away with the win. We did rest, you know, most of our players. Well, all of our players, really. But Villa did come out and off the bench. Um, got a couple of players with that straight-up arrow, though, in form. Mares, Lamar, and Gaia, all with that straight-up arrow. Everyone else on the pitch with the uh, the diagonal up arrow. So we're in we're in really good form here, uh, individually. Hopefully the lads can bring him a win. I'm not expecting a win, but it would be nice. We do have a very strong team on paper, um, and we have we did upset Manchester City last time around. And Manchester United are not in good form either. So there is a chance that we can win this. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and predict a 2-1 loss. I think that's probably how it's gonna finish. They are starting with a wow a very weak lineup. Pereira and goal. Poole, Riley, Fasu, Mensa, Carrick, Lingard, and Pereira. And Gaia has scored to make it 1-0. Again, our left back on the score sheet, and it's looking like that's how it's going to finish. Is it? Yep, yeah, that's that's the final whistle. Wow. So, 1-0 winning against Manchester United, and that's the second time this season that I have paid attention to that a team has started a weaker lineup against us. Arsenal did it in the second match of the season, and it cost them uh, in the end because they drew 1-1 with us at their home stadium. Manchester United doing the same thing, but losing. Uh, I'm not sure why these teams are, you know, starting with weaker lineups. You know, they saw what we did last season. We finished in uh, fifth, I think it was, in the end, which is, you know, a decent, a decent finish, really. And then, and then the season before that, you know, Leicester won the league. So I really would think that they would uh, think higher of us as a team. But I'm not going to complain. I mean, keep playing weaker teams against us the whole season. That'd, that'd be great. I mean, be awesome. Uh, got the Europa League back. I may have called it the Champions League again earlier this episode. I did it in the first episode of this season, but, um, yeah, just anytime I say Champions League, just assume I mean Europa League, because I do. Um, and because we have nine points, I'm going to start with our cup side again, because we have a match pretty close to this one. And holy shit, that came out of nowhere. The last time I checked, he was like, what, he was going to be between 79 and... 92 rated or something. Now his potential there, Nunez, 87 to 94 rated, and he's only 15 years old. Man, I wish he was 16 because I would sign him into the first team right away. That's definitely the highest potential player we have at the club now. And then this other guy, you know, he's still doing all right. I mean, 78 to 94, but that's that's ridiculous from Nunez there. Definitely can't wait to, uh, to sign him up. Uh, apparently, we're not on track. Don't really give a shit about the. Uh, the youth system goal, I think they want me to make, or like, sell youth players to make a certain amount of money. I'm not really interested in selling any of my youth players, so we're not going to reach that goal, and I, I don't care that we're not going to reach it, because it's a stupid goal, <laughs> um, really. Um, so yeah, that's the, time, that's the team we're going to go with against Salzburg. Because I have nine points in the league, or in the, in the Europe League, I'm not really concerned about this game and you know we got Liverpool and I think three or four days after this so that's gonna be the game that I want my players fully fit in and this is gonna be the last game of this episode uh, against Salzburg here hopefully we can get another three points in the Europa League we've been three no last time uh, and then they drew against Zenit and Rangers in the other fixtures hopefully we can replicate that with another three no win that will be fantastic no goals yet, though. They were forced into an early substitution, though, courtesy of uh, that injury to Stangle. Interesting name. But Yabo there, another interesting name, has put them 1-0 up. And we could be losing our first match in the Europa League. 70 minutes played. Yeah, and we've lost it because it's 2-0. We're not coming back from that this late on. And that's how the game's finished. A 2-0 loss. Very disappointing result. But given the team we started, it's not, not ridiculously surprising. I mean, I don't really care that we did lose it. I mean, we did have nine points before that, and, you know, the league is my main priority. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this episode, so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.